note for future parking up a tractor make sure reverse it into uh, where it's got to go so you've got access to the battery i've got a flat battery okay so normally we come and jump it but yeah like i said i ain't gonna fit a tractor in through there uh yeah could probably fit the probably fit the truck to the feed pa old feed passageway there but yeah might be an idea i don't know i feel i'm committed with the battery charger i've been doing a few other little bits and pieces so um and it's quite dewy still so yeah yeah hmm typical <laughs> spraying this field these are our oats uh, you can see down there they're looking pretty good well that's funny they always look everything always looks better by eye than it actually does through a camera why is that I don't know but uh, yeah the oats they're looking great they are the first crop we planted uh, I think uh, we might have done a video plowing this field so this is into plowing and yeah they're looking pretty good and not really marking too much with the tractor either that I've been spraying. So that's gone perfectly, just about the perfect amount of spray. Can't really see because of the way the sun is here, but um, if I zoom out, wrong one, wrong. You can kind of see there, maybe hardly I'll show you on another field but there's just a tiny little bit of overlap um, as I go down down the, the bouts uh, which is ideal you can see there there's a join going up there and it's not far off um, not perfect I think but yeah there's nothing missed really uh, except where I've had a tiny little wiggle surprising how much it moves um, one thing which I think I have spoken about before the pre-air markers with the drill throw all the soil to one side and you can see down there kind of there's a little ridge to the one side and it's quite easy to get these little tractor wheels on the wrong side of that ridge it just brings you over so yeah not not ideal but having a little bit of overlap in with the drill means that I should should have a bit of room for error on the sprayer and it'll be a lot less overlap than I would have had uh, when I was playing by eye that's probably overlapping a couple of colts I suspect so yeah that's gone pretty good so oats first now I'm moving on to wheat um, there's I think Herbside going on there. The last couple of weeks we put in. Then I got some of the ex rake ground. There's just a bit of herbside there and rake, but uh, probably won't get on to that today. It is a lovely day though. It's so nice. I'm struggling to see my screen and struggling to see out of my very dirty windows. There we go. That's uh, yeah, still haven't cleaned the cab out. Still a disgusting mess in here. We'll get around to it one day when uh, it's raining or something and I'm in the shed. Right, anyway, back to the barn. Whilst I'm travelling across it, just look how good at my... Just look at how good my ryegrass and clover and rake volunteer cover crop looks. Look at that. Shame to drive across it. Should have probably uh, driven across one of the planter fields. Um, yeah, looking really good. Really, really good. Uh, I think there's a big old strip of brome over there. 
on a hedge, but um, sheep will eat that hopefully. Yeah, really great. What a lovely day. Oh, so, into the wheat. It's the last field of drills. And um, it also looks pretty. Well, the wheat looks very good. Uh, but actually, yeah, the grain looks pretty firm, to be fair. rape it's pheasants pecking up the planted seed it, or it's blooming uh, rabbits eating the eating the wheat as it grows up so in farming something's always trying to eat your crop basically um, yeah and aphids and blooming flea beetle there we go it's all, all part of the fun so here we go still still doing a pretty good job there on everything. So just starting a new field. Um, this is the X days, this is the second week. Uh, went into ploughing. Bit of bad ploughing here, you can see it's a bit bobbly on the ins and outs. Uh, probably a bit rough going down there. But yeah, I thought I'd just show uh, setting up this. So uh, if I close that, so I'm going to go into a new field. Simple as that, new, um, put a time and date stamp on it, uh, this was middle field, oh, hang on, middle, learn to spell, oh, just select that, and time and date stamp it, there we go, and to spray, all I do is press that one, and that engages this. So you turn my spray computer on. Spraying at 200 litres per hectare. And there's a herb side going on here. Uh, so we're giving it a good drench. Um, Grain's reasonably firm actually. Um, doesn't march it too much. I would expect it to probably mark this a little bit more. Uh, where it's ploughed. It wasn't rolled or anything. I've now got that hole to condemn with. I'm not looking forward to that. Um, no way around it. There's that pole and that pole. That pole I should kind of kiss with the end of the boom uh, when I put the uh, AB lines in. This one here, no way to get around it. Probably unless I need to drill that way, I don't feel. But drilling on the long lengths, I'm going to have to go around it. So, pretty annoying. I hate electric poles. Oh, this is good. Let's wait that little bus out there. Thumbs up 
to open ag gps in my book so not all my drilling is perfect a uh, bit of bonus footage of bad badly set up gps it's wiggly so there we go wiggle so i didn't quite have the steer settings tuned in um, there's a slight mist down there that you might be able to see but it's not missing on the mapping so I think the uh, and I've stepped out the, as, as good, good as a measure that is but I've stepped out the uh, tram lines and they're actually pretty much bang on uh, with a little bit of overlap so the bit of overlap has covered for me for the little mistakes I've got here not that it's a big mistake, on the whole it's pretty straight and the wiggles are kind of joined up but yeah it's just a bit wiggledy biggledy so that's the frustration uh, obviously you know it's, it's a bit of a make it up as you go along kind of job it sort of um, you're on your own getting it all set up and I just hadn't quite got it tuned in right and I was a bit reluctant to fiddle with it too much when I started in case it it all went a bit uh, a bit wrong so um, yeah uh, it wiggles and then I actually did fiddle with it towards the end of the field and then then it was good so you know you've seen seen all the drilling warts and all um, and yeah this is probably the worst field so yeah I kind of got it sorted out by here by this point um, see it's much straighter but yeah over there I'm just I'm fussing over nothing I'm just being a bit of a perfectionist and kind of trying to prove that my budget GPS system is as good as any other which I think it is uh, but like anything it you know got to be tuned in right there we go what a lovely evening what a dirty what a dirty window That's a wrap.